Welcome to Rex to Riches, the journey where I start from nothing and everything that is free is off limits. What is the goal? Becoming the wealthiest man on earth. In the last video, I did a plane challenge. After that, I went treasure hunting. And lastly, we shot up a funeral just for the fun of it. Hello guys, welcome back. If you're new, this is the third episode of my Rex to Riches series. I was driving down the road when I suddenly had the brilliant idea to go and pimp my car. Sadly, I couldn't upgrade that much because of my level being so low. I did however spend 4k on changing the secondary color to midnight blue. And that's literally the only thing I did. With my newly painted car, I drove to a Simeon's mission. He doesn't really trust actual firemen, so we have to steal some fire trucks to help him with his shady business. For a weird reason, I didn't notice the white dots indicating the locations of the fire trucks, so I spent the first couple of minutes driving around clueless. I finally got a truck, and this guy didn't want to get in. So I accidentally drove over him. All help was too late, and he died a tragic death. I pulled up to the harbor, and my teammate was already there to extinguish the cars. Suddenly, my man's truck caught on fire. I tried helping him, but he was already panicking and wouldn't stop driving backwards. So I gave up and kept going with the cars. Eventually, we lost the mission, because of Simeon's contact dying or something. Frustrated with the mission, I ended up doing some random stuff with two guys in the city. But there's no time for that, I need money to buy the luxury apartment. Because that would allow me to start doing heists. Of course, it's expensive, and I'll need a lot more money than I have right now. In this mission, we had to destroy a car located in the middle of a gang. It sounded pretty simple, but oh man, was I wrong. I did however have a super friendly teammate named Clifford. He was a pretty low level, so don't expect too much. We fucked it up a couple of times, but then we came up with the genius plan to shoot the enemies together at the exact same time. We executed the plan, and I went to destroy the car. He almost even hit me while exploding. Now the only thing that is left to do is driving the guard to the lockup. And boom, mission well done. I asked them to be friends, he said yes and we went back to my place. I'm just kidding of course, this channel is very family friendly and I am way out of his league anyways. That was until I saw his flying car and of course I got in like the true gold digger I am. Together we flew to the next mission. This one was actually super simple. Take pictures of the cars, kill all people protecting the car, steal the car, drive the car to the garage and earn 10k. Easy. While waiting to get invited, I first asserted my dominance on this NPC. Yeah, you fatty. Get out of get out of here. What? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. In this mission, we had to take this fan and just shoot up everyone. We were nearly at the end of it when one guy quit on us. I can't really blame him because the chance of GTA crashing on him is so big. Anyways, I was now on 50k. And it's time to make some real money. I drove to the airport and you might already know what I'm going to do. San Andreas flight school baby! To make some big money I need to get gold on all of these challenges. The first one is doing an outside loop. After fucking up once I nailed it pretty fast. We did it! Ok now the next one. Landing a jet with the engine failure. Also super easy and done on my second try. Easy dude. Now I need to catch a parachute while jumping out of a plane and then land in the middle of a target. I wonder when it gets harder. That was perfect, holy shit. I didn't have to wonder for too long because landing a cargo plane with engine failure was not that easy. On top of that there was also a storm going on but after some tries I nailed this one as well. I had a feeling landing a helicopter on a truck would be hard, but I was wrong and did it on my first try. Impressive. Now I had to fly in formation and even though I did super bad, I still got gold. I'm not complaining. Next up, shooting targets with a chopper. I also did this one on my first try. Get on my level. Now we're coming up to the fun ones. Here I had to fly through circles while staying as close to the ground as possible. 
I really wasn't prepared for windmills, so this happened. Oh no! Oh shit! <laughs> I did complete it on another try though. We are now on the second to last challenge, and I probably spent most time trying this one. I had to collect 30 points while flying through the city of Los Santos. I crashed my plane multiple oh, times. Oh, underneath the bridge! <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, that's a, that's a building. No! Fucking tree, dude. No, Maze Bank. Fuck you, Maze Bank. But on this try, I nailed it. Pretty good. Gold, boy! Let's go! I now had gold on all of them except the last one. So let's get it. I had to follow another chat while doing maneuvers and going through tight spaces. Here is the montage of me crashing. But then I finally did it. Here are some highlights of that run. Okay, let's go. What's up? Oh! Yes! This is gold. This is gold. I've done it so fucking flawless. I now had completed all the challenges in gold and earned a whopping 226k. As I said earlier, I want to start heisting, so we're going to need a luxury apartment. I first went to Lester though, to see if he had anything interesting to say before I buy it. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> He's kind of a weirdo and just learned me about bounties. And if anybody gets particularly fresh, just give me a shout. I can put a bounty on them and every whack job in the state will want to get them off your back for you. Of course, you never know. Maybe someone asked me to do it to you. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. And while I was there, I made the very impulsive decision to get a tattoo. I got a fox in my neck and a rose on my arm. This is the apartment that I'm going to buy. I traded in my old house for a 43k reduction. I let the world know that I bought a house and this random guy said nice. It has a pretty good view and a 10 car garage, but most importantly a planning room. Here we will be doing our heists from. With the leftover money, I now think it's a great time to actually pimp my car this time, and not only the color. I gave it a splitter, put some fenders on it, a beautiful ducktail and a sick racing stripe down the middle. To top it all off, some lights on the sides. This baby costed me about 40k, but it's so worth it. And now, there is only one more thing left to do, and that's the free spin in the casino. Some idiots kept killing me, so I got a ride from this friendly guy. First, smash that subscribe button, goddammit. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I did the spin, and what do you know, clothing, perfect. Let's hope the gambling goes better. I won once, but ultimately lost it all again. It's not going great for me. I felt like this lady was judging my spending habits, so I tried putting my finger in her nose. Eat my finger, lady. Okay, that's weird. Not a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Rex to Riches. A like is appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one.